Hey guys, what's up? It's just me again today and since my last video was me trying to go blonde, I thought that this next video should just be a hair update on my hair since I said I was going to try to go blonde and I didn't go to the hairstylist. I ended up going to Sally's so I thought I'd show you guys the stuff that I got and the process of how I got this hair. <laughs> Alright guys. So when I went to Sally's, I asked a lady, um, I told her what I had done with the previous um, hair dye that I had got and what I was trying to achieve and she recommended these products and she told me to bleach my hair with the Quick Blue L'Oreal one. So I used this one and I used it with a 20 developer. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, <laughs> when I went there she told me, she gave me two. So I got a 20 and a 30, but I used this one for the hair dye and this one for the bleach. But I honestly don't remember if she told me to use the 20 for the bleach or the 30 for the bleach and then whichever one I didn't use to use on the hair dye. So I completely mixed these up and I just winged it when I got home. I was just like, I'm going to try the 20 because it said right here, I was like looking at the instructions on it and it said that you can use like a 20 developer if you're trying to go like this light I don't I was just I don't know I just used the 20 but I don't remember if she said the 20 or the 30 guys so just a heads up just a heads up on that if you're gonna try this process that I did <laughs> okay so I had to use two packets of these because one wasn't enough for my hair so if you have longer hair and thicker hair than mine because my hair is pretty thick but it's not long and like I said, I have a long bob, so the back part is really short. It's like barely like up to here. So just one wasn't enough. And two was barely enough, but I did not do my roots. I did not do the top. I did not do the back. Like I tried to do like an ombre um, kind of thing going. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as if you were like to get it professionally done, but I tried. <laughs> um, so maybe you probably need way more than one or two packets. Um, then after I bleached my hair, it was just a complete orangey color. It was not pretty. It was not cute. I wanted to throw on the hair color already, but I waited a good while. And when I took off the bleach, I did use the purple shampoo. Um, and the first time I ever dyed my hair blonde, I didn't know what purple shampoo was. I didn't know. Um, I always looked up like the YouTube videos to see and no one ever mentioned purple shampoo. So if you're trying to go blonde, I definitely recommend getting a purple shampoo. It doesn't have to be this one. This is the one I got at Sally's and it was like $6. And the lady said it works really, really good. And she had blonde hair, so I kind of just took her word for it. And when I was previously blonde, I used the John Frieda shampoo. I used the John Frieda Lightning Purple shampoo. And they didn't work as great as I hope they would have the lightening shampoo did lighten my hair but I felt like it damaged it more in the process and I felt like it made it more like brassy so I stopped using it and with this shampoo I've only used it two times and the two times that I have used it I've seen my hair get lighter and I've felt my hair feel softer so so far this is working for me um, I am going to try to get something to lighten my hair also because they do have the lightening shampoos so that way you don't have to really dye it and do all that process. Um, so yeah guys. So like I said, I used this one after bleaching. And then a couple days later, I went on and added the hair dye. So I used the Ion Brilliance in Medium Blonde and I bought two of these also. One of them was enough. So I used the 30 developer. I only used half of the bottle with one of these. And let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So this is what it looks on the inside and it was enough for my hair just for like the base and the back and like I said it was enough and I'm going to go ahead and do one more of these and I'm actually going to have Jay help me this time because I couldn't get all the way to the back and I missed a couple of spots. So after using the hair dye I left it on for 45 minutes I want to say and I actually noticed this the first time I dyed my hair blonde and I put on a lighter hair dye it actually makes your hair darker I don't know if that's happened to anyone before but my hair actually got darker before it got lighter 
so it, my hair it was orangey blondish and then I just saw like my whole head and it was like a dark brown and I was freaking out I was so upset I was like I went through this whole process for it to get dark and I was like this happened to me the last time but when I washed it off and I blow dried it it was super super light it was it was fine it worked out so I don't know if that's just the way it works or not or if that's just the way this hair dye works but like I said it did happen to me the last time so I think it might be something that just happens <laughs> but then I washed it off and I used the purple shampoo again and um, it just washed off the orange um, parts of it and like I said once I blow dried it it looked a completely different color now from that day to now it's been three days so my hair is starting to get like orangey again and um, it looks just different. It doesn't look the same from the moment I had dyed it. And also I haven't washed my hair since dyeing it. I know you're supposed to wait two to three days so I'm on my third day. I'm actually going to wash it today later in the night. And I haven't used any like heat products or anything just because I'm trying to let my hair rest. I don't want it to get all messed up, fried and dried. Um, and damaged I mean so that's why it kind of looks like puffy and it looks this way but like I said I'm trying to just let my hair rest so yeah guys so those are all the products I bought um, to get this hair color so far like I said I still need to do one more hair dye thing hopefully it'll make it lighter and it'll even out but I am also going to go to go to the salon in a month or two so I think that's all for this video guys I can't think of anything else to tell you guys if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.